Since September 12, 1976, Baltimore County detectives have looked at this very picture working to identify her. How she ended up down here is, is the mystery and, and who she is is the mystery for us. A girl investigators say was strangled and raped, her body dumped near a graveyard in Woodlawn. We believe that she was drug into the woods, maybe from a van that had been seen in the area. We're not 100% sure on that. Now the girl who's been known for 45 years as Woodlawn Jane Doe has a name. Police identifying the victim as 16-year-old Margaret Federoff of Alexandria, Virginia, then a student of Hayfield Secondary School. Obviously, we want to go back to where she came from and try to figure out who she may have been with, who may have seen her last. If anybody knows who she may have left that area with because she had to get here to the Baltimore area somehow. While her murder has gone unsolved for decades, detectives then only relying on sketches, her family telling police Federov had been reported missing one year before her remains were even found. This is so significant. This is a really big break in the case because without knowing who she is or where she came from, we really don't have too much to go on because we need to know who she may have been with in order to get some leads for this case. Now police with compounding evidence aiming to give closure in this case. Because so much time has elapsed, because it's been 45 years, we, you know, it might jog somebody's memory to see a picture of her. They might not remember her name or remember too much about her, but maybe seeing a picture they could remember certain things about what what led up to her going missing. And of course, if you have any information on this cold case, you're asked to call Baltimore County Police. We're live in Towson. I'm Trey Ward, WBAL TV 11 News.